hope you guys are doing well welcome back so in the last class we have discussed about the library so now we are going to move to the annotations option let's start so now let's delete these all things in the last class we have discussed about the basic options which were library assets which in the last class we were discussed about the library that we 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 used those assets which were provided by the Camtasia so as you can see here is the option for the annotation if you want to use this you can also do that as you can see you will get here the text and the text box as well for example I want to use this text box then you have to drag this here and you will see the option like this so I'm going to click on this and now if you want to edit the text you have to double click on it and now you can edit the text for example I'm going to write this smart here so as you can see I have written the smart in this way now you will see the text properties here if you want to use these text properties like make it bold you can also do that and increase the size you can also increase the size as well and the size will be increased in this way so this works like this now you can play this so as you can see now we have to drag this here and now here is your text effect if you want to do other settings related to your text formatting you can also do that and if or if you want to do the settings regarding your shape you can also do that like the shape style or the shape color and the thickness and the opacity and all the options are provided in the and all the options are provided here in the properties section you can also do that and after that here's the option for the annotation as you can see here you will see the callouts and now let's click on this this option is called arrows and lines if you want to use the arrows and lines in your video you will get those here from easily for example i'm going to delete this one and i want this one then you can also do that i'm going to drag this here and as you can see this is the arrow let's click on the arrow i'm going to click on this and now if you want to increase the size you can also do that so in this way you can use the arrows and lines so i'm going to delete this one and after that here's another option which is called shapes if you want to use only empty shapes you can also do that you just have to drag the shape here for example i want this one so I'm going to leave this one because it's already in the black so I'm going to use this one as you can see this is the shape now you have to increase the size you can also increase the size so in this way you can add and shapes and takes and lines as well now if you want to adjust this you can also adjust this I hope you guys understand this video that how you can use these call outs how you can use these arrows and lines and how you can add shapes in your video and that how you can add these shapes in your Camtasia so about so about the next options we will discuss in the next class so see you guys in the next video